Hey butterflies, my name is Sharon K. Griffin and I'm here to reintroduce myself. So my alias names are Madam Butterfly and Aduke Arialka. So anyway, 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 I wanted to come on here and just say hello, hello, hello and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to talk about me okay for a little bit so you can have a little backstory about who i am and why i move the way i move so again i'm sharon okay and i love life i love people but most importantly i love myself and i actually came to that conclusion um after my last marriage and i just i forgot about everyone else and I focused on me and when I began to focus on me guess what I became authentically happy from the inside out and everything around me started to change people started to treat me different now I have to tell you this I lost some friends but guess what that's okay I'd rather lose someone else and find myself than keep you in my space when you're sucking up my energy or you're just around because i'm in a sad state so that's lesson number one y'all when you find yourself and when you know yourself and when you know your purpose guess what guess what people are going to detach from you okay um i don't know if they feel like you don't need them anymore or if they're just not happy that you're happy. And I've heard that a lot of times from various sources that when they got their shit together, it's like the people that they love the most just scattered, just scattered. That's a flat, flat right there. Yes, Madam Butterfly said flat, flat. So yeah, flap your wings on that, okay? So I'm just letting you know right when you begin to heal when you find yourself when you begin to love yourself the same people aren't going to be around get used to it guess what it's okay because other people will replace them okay so i'm a creator i love creating right i i create products um i create television shows i create like i love creating if i didn't if i didn't get paid for something there's two things i would do i would create things right because that makes me happy that gives me joy that gives me a sense of purpose and i would continue to do coaching um matchmaking so dating and relationship coaching matchmaking i love love and maybe that's why i've been married a lot of times five times yes and don't come at me don't come at me because some of y'all can't get married once that's a flat flat yes butterflies flat flat right there okay so don't come at me because guess what i actually could teach you something if you listen i can teach you a lot of something i know how to get a man now and i have a great husband now someone that i not only love but someone that I really, really like. Like, I like my husband, okay? So now, you know, I'm a dope creator, yes. And you know, I do uh, matchmaking and dating and relationship coaching, okay? Um, but I'm a pretty dope soul. I think I just, I want people to be at their best self, right? Even when, when people don't see it in themselves, guess what normally i see it and unfortunately i tend to believe in people more than they believe in themselves right but guess what i don't i don't force myself or i don't go where i'm not wanted right i'm not casting my pearls upon swine i'm not going to force myself on anyone um so if you notice i said my other alias is Aduke, right? So actually, I'm part-time in the U.S. and part-time in Nigeria, which I absolutely love. Um, that's where my DNA 
resonates from the majority of it and let me tell you i love nigeria um i feel free i feel like i'm at home i'm not looking over my back um and then i'm giving back i'm giving back to the community and i'm doing business so i love it love it love it love it love it so you could also so say that i do consulting work like in business because i'm very business savvy um so anyway but that's who i am i love to dress up and look pretty but i also like to chill i also like to chill my kids used to tell me mom you're over the top yes i am i am i am that's just my personality okay but i am who god created me to be and if i change for people guess what guess what i wouldn't be myself so let that be another lesson for you okay don't be changing don't change for other people because guess what when you change for other people and not change for yourself you're constantly going to be changing for other people and they'll constantly be asking you and requiring you to change that's a flat flat baby flat flat right there <laughs> flat flat okay so no be who you are as long as you're not hurting yourself or someone else i live by those rules and one thing that i taught my girls my children is if god is telling you something and i'm telling you something and i want you to go with god not and i want you to go with god because god knows your beginning from your ending okay i just see what's right here okay so you gotta go with god okay allow the universe to align the puzzle pieces on your behalf so you can get everything that you deserve in this lifetime right in this lifetime because guess what we really don't know what happens once our our spirit leaves our body right so what i teach and what i say is energy never dies it just transfers okay so i call death transitioning you're transitioning to something else right so it is what it is that's just my belief systems i'm a very spiritual person like i love god i love god i don't tell people what god to serve and what god to love but i i love god and the reason i love god is because I've gone through so much pain and trauma in my life that I'm happy now that I decided to heal that I just love life I love who I am I love who God created me to be right and it's just like wow you're powerful you 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 created me yes you created me so yeah, like I love God. I love manifesting. Um, and I've been practicing that probably for the last 30 years. I'm on my business journey. And I just want to see people excel. There's so much trauma and so much bad in the earth. But guess what? There's so much good in the earth. And there's so much healing in the earth, right? So I tend to concentrate on that right and i tell people if you wake up on the wrong side of the bed just get back in the bed and get out on the other side flat flat baby flat flat yes flat flat flap your wings okay because guess what life is about growth right it's about maturity and i'm growing and i love that i love who i'm actually transitioning into right now at the great age of 53 years old right um make sure make sure make sure that you always believe in yourself because guess what people aren't going to believe in your dreams and your goals but you have to believe in your dreams and in your goals people have been calling me crazy all my life because guess what i dream big and i aim high and i don't allow others who ain't doing shit 
to sway me um, to go against my purpose and the things that God put in me to do. So I'm gonna give you a brief story and I'm gonna just like exit left and let you go to bed, let me go to bed. Um, but guess, guess what? So December 15th, 2022, um, I got a phone call from the hospital, from my doctor, telling me that I was dying. So the backstory is I had surgery, an endometrial ablation that the doctor really didn't do. Um, the, the reason I know the doctor did not do the surgery, even though she put me under and she quote unquote did the surgery, I actually end up um, hemorrhaging, right? And in my hemorrhaging, I was losing so much blood and I had to go to another doctor like I went to her she didn't help me I went to another doctor he did an ultrasound and he literally found by the ultrasound detected that what she said she removed she didn't which was a polyp right and that my endometrial lining was still intact um, she's no longer practicing okay my google review was so thorough she was on the news and everything am i saying that was because of me i'm not saying that but i prayed right and i believe that god heard me and she's not practicing anymore so anyway um that particular doctor that did the ultrasound um i asked him i said could you just give me a hysterectomy right and he couldn't operate because we were so close to Christmas where he was preparing to go on vacation. He had other patients and I was new. So he said, I'm going to refer you to some friends of mine. So I called his friends. They couldn't do it. They were booked, headed on vacation, right? So baby, one thing I know how to do, I pray. Okay, I know how to talk to God. That's what prayer is, talking to God. And I don't get on my knees and pray. I just walk around the house or in my spirit or whatever, I pray, right? So anyway, um, I prayed and prayed and prayed and it came to me, called my insurance company. I called, they found me a doctor, right? I went, um, the next day he took some blood and I could hardly walk, I couldn't breathe. I remember on Wednesday night, um, remember Wednesday night I prayed right and I said God please don't let me die like this because I knew something was going on my head was killing me um, I take two steps I had no breath so anyway um, I get my blood drawn and boom he calls me Thursday get to the hospital your hemoglobin is four you're dying we need to give you an emergency blood transfusion um, I get, I get my stuff together and boom, I go to the hospital. Um, and one thing that they said was, we might not be able to operate because we don't know if your insurance company will pay for the surgery being as though you just had surgery. So he looked at my husband, my husband said operate anyway. So anyway, I got my blood transfusion, had my emergency hysterectomy and I was so ecstatic when I woke up. I said, God, I don't want to die empty. Every gift, every talent, every, everything that you have given to me before I leave earth, I need to pass it um, on to other people, my children, those that I mentor, people that I come in contact with and I need to put it out in the universe. And then I can go home peacefully, knowing that I did everything and used every gift that you have given me. So for that, I say, God, thank you. Because really, I could not be here. My dog literally was following me everywhere I went. And I believe that he knew that my life was slipping out of me. So that's why, that's one of the reasons why I love God so much.
But baby, God has just been so good to me, even in my pain, even in my trauma, even in my tears, my divorces, like all of that, right? And a lot of times we feel we can't make it and that we, we came to the end of ourselves, right? Baby, ma'am, I get it. Sir, I get it. I get it. Been there, did that, got the t-shirt, cried many of days, many, many, many of days asking God, did you forget about me? Like, yo, did you forget about me? You know, and I, and I felt like God did forget about me. But guess what? It was just a part of my journey. And people always ask me, so would you take anything back? No. Hell no. I wouldn't take anything back. Because everything that I went through was for purpose. Was for now. Was for someone else. Am I telling you to think like that? I'm not telling you to think like that. But I'm saying for me. So you know who I am. Um, I just love people and I pray, I pray, I pray that you enjoy this channel. I pray that you receive a, a wealth of knowledge and wisdom and understanding and compassion because all I can be is me. I'm a little ratchet. Mm -hmm. I love God, but I cuss baby. Okay. And some of y'all might be like, well, how you love God? And you cuss easily like I do. Like I do. Like I do. Flap, flap, like I do. Flap, flap, like I do. But yeah, so I just want to tell y'all my name is Sharon K. Griffin, a.k.a. Madam Butterfly. And I am so glad that you are here. Please, please, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, okay? Subscribe and you like this video because my goal is, is to have my online tribe that I can truly mentor, um, who can trust me and we can grow together because I have a wealth, wealth, wealth of knowledge and wisdom um, that I've learned through the years and, and my personal life and business um in television all of that so have a blessed one i don't know where you are in the world but hey wherever you are wherever you are know that you have purpose don't allow anyone to take away from your purpose Know that you're beautiful, right? Because beauty is on the inside and it resonates out. And that you need to fulfill your purpose. Don't let anyone, 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 anyone talk you out of your goals, out of your dreams. And guess what? Thank you, God, for that. Stop telling everybody all your business. Everybody ain't for you. No, they say they are, but everybody does not want you to succeed, okay? And sometimes it's your very close friends. Sometimes it's even family. Sometimes it's your co-workers. Sometimes it's your boss. Sometimes it's your people at church. Sometimes it's the people in your community. So, so learn to shh, be quiet. And when that, that thing that you've been wanting and wishing for comes to pass, then you tell the world, right? Am I telling you don't tell nobody? I'm not telling you that. I'm sure you have some people on your team that want to see you do amazing things, right? But choose wisely who you communicate your goals and your dreams to. This is your girl, Sharon K. Griffin, a.k.a. Madam Butterfly. Flap your wings, baby. Have a blessed one. This was my new introduction. Welcome to the wonderful world of Sharon K. Griffin. Now you're in my garden. Have a blessed one. Bye-bye.